some women get blood tests run for their thyroid and are then subsequently told that everything is fine, but something niggles at them that something might be wrong after all. For example, they're holding on to weight, they're feeling much colder than the people in their environment usually, they have brain fog or depression. And then the question is, is it possible for you to still be hypothyroid even though your blood tests are all fine? Hello lovelies and welcome to another one of my videos in which we'll be talking about whether it's possible for you to still be hypothyroid even though your blood tests say you're fine. And the short answer is yes. There are two reasons for this. Number one could be that only your TSH was tested and not your actual thyroid hormones such as T4 and T3. The other reason could be that your hormone levels are so cold within range but that range is not actually optimal for you, you're still getting hypothyroid symptoms. In both of these cases, we're talking about subclinical hypothyroidism, which means that it wasn't possible to diagnose it based on your results, but in fact, you are dealing with a sluggish thyroid. So that could be because your levels aren't bad enough for a diagnosis, but it can also mean that you're actually in the early stages. So it is really important for you to get on top of this and not ignore your symptoms because first of all, you don't want it to get worse down the line and you ending up on medication. And secondly, it's possible for your sluggish thyroid to still be interfering with your hormone balance and keeping you from falling pregnant or being able to carry full term. So the question is, of course, how can you know if your thyroid is struggling, right? Well, I gave it away a little bit in the intro. If you are struggling with weight gain or holding on to weight, you just can't lose it. If you are tending to feel colder than the people around you, then that can be a sign, as well as brain fog, finding it difficult to concentrate, remember things, um, and depression, as well as fatigue, especially if you do sleep okay, but then just feel absolutely exhausted upon waking up. When it comes to your periods, you may have very long periods or lots of spotting or light periods. It can be any of those. They can also mean that something else is going on, but there are also signs for hypothyroidism. Speaking of periods, if you're charting, you can spot hypothyroid issues from your charts. If your temperatures are consistently low, that is definitely a sign of an underfunctioning thyroid. You can also spot though if your symptoms are more related to adrenal fatigue rather than hypothyroidism if your temperatures are sometimes low but mostly very exaggerated, so very up and down. How you can spot on your chart exactly whether you're struggling with an underfunctioning thyroid or with adrenal fatigue is something I teach in bundle two of my chart interpretation course and that bundle is going live very soon. In the bundle we're covering hypothyroidism, adrenal fatigue, and inflammation. I'm already running the special bird offer, so if you're interested, go and grab it. I will put the link in the description. And if you're interested in treating hypothyroidism or adrenal fatigue naturally, then make sure to click on the playlist on your screen right now. And in the meantime, see you in the next video. Bye.